Hey guys and welcome back to the 11th video of this tutorial series. In this video we shall discuss about the command line arguments. Now these bash command line arguments are used to provide input to a bash shell script while we are executing the script. And in bash shell programming we can provide a maximum of 9 arguments to a shell script. We can provide more than 9 but when we are providing more than 9 arguments then we have to use curly braces and also it is recommended that we limit our command line arguments to 9 for maintaining compatibility to other shells and avoiding confusion. So which means when we are providing 9 arguments then we can directly provide them like this. We can simply write $1 to $9 but if we are to provide more than 9 arguments then we will have to use curly braces like this and within those curly braces we can write the number of the uh, arguments that we are using like this one will be 12 the syntax to provide command line arguments is this we just have to write the name of the script while trying to execute it and then space and then the arguments like this then this dollar zero specifies the name of the script to be invoked which means if we are using $0 in our script then it's going to print the name of the script then $1 to $9 specifies the names of the first 9 arguments that can be used or that can be passed along with the script while we are executing it then $hash specifies the total number of arguments which are passed to the script we need not use all the arguments that have been passed to the script but we can directly count the total number of the scripts we shall see the example of all these parameters but i'm just giving a short definition or a short idea about them then dollar star and dollar at they are little important we shall see them in detail so let's see some examples and try to understand the bash line arguments better so let's go through one example where we will read four arguments from the command line and then we will use those arguments in our script to print some messages all right guys so i have written this script here i am using dollar one for the first argument dollar two for the second argument then dollar three for the third and dollar four for the fourth argument and these are used with echo commands to print some messages so let's see how we can pass the command line arguments to this script first of all i have to save this so I'll just hit escape key and it will return us to the menu. Then we have to type colon w, hit enter and the file is saved. Now let's return to the terminal. Here we have to run our script. So to run the script, I just have to type dot forward slash hello underscore world dot sh. That is the way to run the script. Now along with the name of the script, we have to pass the command line arguments. So if you pay attention here, then it says hello, then dollar one, which means the first argument should be a name. So here I'll just write my name, then space. Then we have to look at the dollar two. Dollar two says you are welcome to dollar two. So here I can write my channel's name, space. Then it says you are on the right path to learn dollar three. So here we can write bash scripting space and then in the fourth argument we can just write the name of the topic that we are learning command line arguments and uh, this space signifies that this is a different argument this is a different argument then this one is the third argument having a dash or a hyphen in between means it's only one argument now let's hit enter and uh, you can see hello tanzil you are welcome to tenstalks.tech you are on the right path to learn bash scripting command line arguments so that's how we pass the command line arguments while we are executing the script and uh, as i have explained earlier also dollar one dollar two dollar three these are for the variables that are going to hold the arguments that we provide while executing the script whereas dollar zero holds the name of the script so let's see one example for dollar zero also and also let's see how to check number of arguments that are passed in one script 
so i'll just quickly delete everything from here all right guys so i have written this script it's a very simple script and i'm using echo command dollar hash this is going to print the number of arguments that have been passed with this script then dollar zero is going to return the name of the script so let's just save it and let's run it and you can observe zero arguments have been passed to this script and the name of the script is hello world now let's pass some arguments with this script let's clear this first then hello world let's say i will pass tanzil tech one two three five six a b c d e f g h so i am passing these arguments with my script and you can see the arguments that i am passing now there's a very quick question for you actually there are two questions for you the first question is how many arguments have i passed with this script and then which is the sixth argument that i have passed in this script so these are the two questions so you can write the answer in the comment quickly then later you can verify whether you were correct or not so if you have written the answer in the comment then let's run it now and if i am not wrong then first second third fourth fifth six seven eight nine ten there are total 10 arguments and the sixth argument is this one that is number six so let's run it and you can observe 10 arguments have been passed to this script this is the name of the script then let's add one more line in this script so enter the insert mode just hit i key then let's write echo space ninth argument is then dollar curly braces nine and now we are using this curly braces because i am going to enter more than nine arguments so whenever we have to work with arguments which are more than nine then we are supposed to use this curly braces if there were only nine arguments then we could have used simple dollar than nine without the need of this curly braces so let's save it now all right now let's check let's say all right all right guys now what do you think is the total number of arguments here and what do you think is the ninth argument here you can write your answer in the comment and then later you can check whether you were correct or not if you were correct that means you are able to understand the topic very well and if i am not wrong then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen there are total fourteen arguments and first second third fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine and this g is the ninth argument let's run the script and verify and yeah there are 14 arguments and g is the ninth argument now this was one of the method of passing the command line arguments using the position number the second way is by using array so let's see one example of array now so let me just write it here all right let me save this file let's clear everything all right so in this script we have defined one variable and then we have assigned its value as dollar at and this dollar at is the default argument which is used to store the arguments that we are going to pass with the script as an array then finally we are displaying the contents of the argument or the arguments that we are passing by defining their array index so this one corresponds to the index 0 this one is index 1 index 2 then index 3 and as you know we use dollar sign to get the value which is inside the variable so now let's run this script so that is hello world and we are reading only four arguments so you can observe one thing here that we are saving only four arguments in our script and while executing the script i provided 
five arguments so which means the first four arguments are going to be saved in the script and the last one is going to be ignored or rejected as you can see in the result that the fifth one this bangladesh this was rejected and it printed only till india because one two three four these are four arguments and we are saving four arguments here now let's say this time i'm going to pass less than four arguments i'm going to pass only three arguments and uh, when i am passing less than four arguments then all the three of them are printed as it is the fourth index remains empty so it's not containing any value and these first three indices of the array they are containing the arguments that we have passed and they have printed the values so that's how they work when we are passing more command line arguments then then how many we are saving in the script then according to the script and the arguments are going to be neglected or rejected like here we are saving only four arguments in the script and we provided more than four we provided five arguments here so the last one got rejected it was not saved anywhere in the second example we provided only three arguments so the last index of the array was empty or it did not contain any value so i hope i made this point very clear now there's just one more parameter that i want to talk about that is dollar star which is very similar to dollar at let's see one example and then we shall discuss the difference between these two all right guys so i have written this script here i'm using for loop to read the command line arguments that are provided with the script and then i'm printing them now i am printing them using dollar star as well as dollar at so at first i'll print it using dollar star then in the second way i'll print it using dollar at then i will print it using dollar star but with quotes and then lastly i'll print using dollar at that is also with quotes and then we shall talk about the difference and the similarity between dollar star and dollar at so let's run it here now if you observe the arguments it is 1 2 3 4 4 which means this one then this two these are different arguments and then this 3 4 it's one argument it's combined within double quotes now how dollar star and dollar at are going to perceive this or read this that's a topic of discussion so i'll just run this script first so when we are talking about the dollar star without quotes you can observe that the the string is broken into words by the for loop so even this 3 4 which was supposed to be a single string got broken down into different words so 1 2 3 4 it read the arguments as four arguments then let's talk about dollar at without quotes here also it treated each element as an unquoted string so the last one which is this 3 4 it again got split it into different words and we had the same result as this dollar at as this dollar star which is 1 2 3 4 so both of them produce the same result now let's talk about the quoted one the difference is here only in the case of quoted dollar star the parameters are regarded as one long quoted string so even though you can see one is a different parameter two is a different parameter then 3 4 is one parameter even though these are three parameters but since we were using this quoted dollar star so these parameters were considered as one long quoted string and you can see that that's how they were printed 1 2 3 4 as one long quoted string now when we talk about the dollar at which is within double quotes you can see the double quotes here these are the quotes and then dollar at now here in this case it treats each element of dollar at as a quoted string which means this one was treated as a quoted string two was treated as a quoted string then this 3 4 they were together treated as a quoted string and this is the final answer so this is the difference between the working of dollar star and dollar at 
in the case of using quotes without using quotes they behave in the same way as you can observe it from here but when we are talking about the quotes then the difference is apparent just like this example now apart from that you can use some other default parameters like dollar question mark which is going to specify the process id of the current script then dollar dollar which specifies the exit status of the last command or the most recent execution process or dollar exclamation mark which shows the id of the last background job so that's all for this topic that is the command line arguments i hope you were able to understand this topic well if you were having any problem understanding any of the topic under this command line arguments then do let me know in the comment section in the next video we shall talk about how to read the input which is provided by the user and those input will not be provided at the time of the execution of the script so we shall see that topic in the next video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching